Good morning, gems, and welcome to the Sapphire Star. Today, we are going to be learning how to bring a VRM, which stands for Virtual Reality Model, into Blender. So if you're a VTuber or just trying to bring a VRM file over into Blender, I'm going to show you how to set all of that up in this video. Let's get started. Okie dokie artichoke. You, I am literally never saying that again. You. All right. So 3.0 Blender is what we need for the plugin, the VRM version that we're going to use. So we need to make sure we download 3.0 if you're using another version of Blender, it may work, it may not work, but for the sake of this video, use 3.0. All right, so we're gonna click download Blender. We're on 3.0 right here. I'll leave this link in the description. See how it says download Blender 3.21? We wanna make sure it's directly 3.0. So we're gonna go to the previous versions button up here all previous versions. We open that and then we can find 3.0. Here's the giant big old log right there. And then you'll download whatever system that you're using, Windows, Mac, Linux, blah, 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 whatever you use. I use Windows 64 and I'm gonna download the zip folder off of here. We're gonna show that in folder. We're gonna wait for that to load. 234 megabytes later. While we're waiting for our Blender 3.0 to finish up, we want to download the 2.45 version of the VRM plugin. So 2.4.5 is the latest version. So we can go ahead and click this zipper right here and download this. And I'll leave this link in the description as well. And we're going to extract, actually we don't need to extract it. Do not, you do not need to, you do not need to. You can leave it in the zip and then the 3.0 Blender is done as well. We're going to extract Blender though. We do want Blender extracted. But for the VRM plugin, which will allow us to add our model into Blender, we do not need to extract. You'll open this, open Blender, Blender.exe, the executable. Once we have it open and our little pop-up is gone, we can highlight and delete those guys. Next, we will go up to Edit, Preferences. We'll go to Add-ons over here, and then you'll click Install, and then we'll go to our Downloads. Because it gets so complicated in there, we're just going to copy the VRM version 2.4.5 that we downloaded, paste it onto our desktop as the zip, and then I'll go to my desktop here and select that directly, and then we'll click install add-on. We'll give it a second to do its thing. You can click refresh a few times, and then I'll try to look for it. So we can do VRM, we can search for, and import export VRM format. You wanna make sure this box is checked after you search it. If you still don't see it in there, try installing it again through the zip until it gets there. You might need, even need to close Blender, reopen it after doing the install. Sometimes it's a little wonky. So as long as you make sure that that's checked great and then finally we'll be able to go up to file imports and then the vrm option should be here and then you can go find a vrm file that you would like to that you would like to import i have my vrm model file right here this is my sapphire colliders and we're just going to go to the desktop and grab that right here vrm and click import vrm this will take a while for some people it literally takes like two whole minutes you might get up and go get some tea or coffee or something use a bathroom break take a walk touch some grass take care of yourself because it will take a long time for some people and it, your blender might even look like it's freezing let it roll do its own thing and it will get situated if you want to see the textures make sure Sure that you switch from this option right here the full circle up here to this one if you would like to see the textures on your model then you should be able to begin editing and doing whatever you need to specifically do in blender to your vrm model and then you can also go to the export in vrm as well here so if you need to send it back to a vrm format that option is in here for you as well with that plugin awesome you did it i'm so proud of you if you are interested in learning how to use full body vr equipment to control your vrm model with vr tracking and have full body, you can check out this video next. I'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye!